Hello everybody and welcome back to another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. In today's video I'll be showing you my teams for Kizuna Chopper. So this is going to be quite a short video, I'm just going to be showing you one set of teams for each of them. And without further ado, let's get straight into the teams. Starting off with the versus Quick variant. So jumping straight into the first team here, yeah, so two things I want to say quickly before I get into the team is uh, in this example here yeah, for these teams I didn't have any multi friend captains but I'm pretty sure it'll work fi just fine if you run multi friend captains for uh, more tickets so that's awesome. Um, the other thing is that we are using shock superb in every single team because the variants for this Kizuna are strength they send quick so you, it's perfect to use this ship. So for the first team here yeah, we are running um, last tap law so this is an awesome legend he gives 1.5 times increased damage taken to the enemy through full immunity the enemy does have full immunity on this variant and then law also gives a 2.75 times attack boost in addition to his amazing captain ability and the good thing about his captain ability is that he makes strength orbs matching so on the final stage when the en enemy changes all your orbs into unfavorable then it's counted as matching in this team in terms of other subs, we are running Luchi to give us an ore boost, 2.5x, and a 1000 base attack boost. So that's awesome to have. Then Rebecca and Vivi are there to get rid of 5 times the special bind as well as give us a chain lock. Then um, Perispero is there to reduce our CD by 2 turns, um, which we are because on stage 2, the enemy wants our specials by 2 turns. And it'll, she also gives us affinity. Then Carrot is there to um, get rid of the enemy's defense up because eventually the enemy does get defense up. And then we are running Sweet Commander support on Perispero because later on there will be more tons of special bind. So Vivi and Viola won't be able to get rid of it fully. So then uh, Sweet Commander gets rid of the other three turns. So this team gets through it super well. And let's move on to the next variation. Okay, so moving on to the second variant against strength. So for this team, we are running a hybrid of last step Luffy and King. So you could also run multi friend captain, um, but the only thing is that you won't have an attack boost on the final stage. Now, one thing I'm looking back on this team is that Perispero is actually not needed. He's actually a hindrance. So I'd recommend running another attack, quick attack booster, so that if you're running a multi friend captain, you'll still be able to get a, an attack boost on the final stage. But in terms of other units on this team, so if you're running a Lost Type Luffy friend captain, you will get a 2.75 times attack boost from him. A, he gives himself a, a base attack boost. And his super type is awesome, giving us a 1.0x chain boost. So Luffy himself gives a lot. He's an awesome friend captain. Then Bonnie is going to give us an attack boost, um, which will activate uh, King's uh, special in the final stage. And she also gets rid of the despair. Then oh Nami is so good um, because on the final stage uh, when you get when the enemy when the boss gets to level thirty he will have a defense up so Nami will be able to uh, reduce the enemy's defense to zero as well as give us a conditional boost so that is awesome I'm so glad the enemy doesn't have full immunity on this variation and then oh Nami will also give us a color affinity as I said before Perispero is not needed. Uh, initially, I think I thought that I'd need his inner turn damage to kill the enemy three resilience. But King does have an effect in his captain ability, which states that if you use his special in that turn, you will get inner turn damage. So we can just use that to get through the resilience. Then, uh, last of all, we're using Sugar for Toy Soldiers, awesome. And that's pretty much it. This team is a bunch of does a bunch of damage. So this should last the entire Kizuna even if you go pretty deep um, but that's pretty much it as you can see the Paris Bears, uh, chain lock is a hindrance so definitely don't want to use him but let's move on to the final variation against Dex okay so moving on to the final variant against Dex so this is this one uses a lot of support unfortunately um, but this is super annoying the debuffs on uh, this variant so we are running double Odin once again you can run milky friend captain um but in terms of subs here so odin is awesome just giving us a 2.75x all boost as well as the wana orbs and a 5x uh, a captain that he provides he also gives the uh, the captain and friend captain a nice base stat boost with the super type then usopp is there to get rid of five tons of bind and 
uh, attack down on the final stage so that is awesome um, but that is not enough because when you get to uh, stage 30 of the boss then he will add I think two or three tons of bind and attack down so that is why I am using um, Ace 1-0 uh, no not 1-0 Halloween Ace support on Luffy who will get out of three tons of bind and then I'm also running Frenos Arena Frenoske support on Usopp to get rid of two more tons of attack down. Then um, Kid is going to give us um, an attack boost and an affinity boost. Then Odin's giving us an all boost. Then um, what's his name? Asher Doji is going to give us uh, five tons of threshold reduction. Then Luffy is also there to get rid of five tons of paralysis on stage two. So this team gets through it while. Um, a lot of debuffs unfortunately but anyways that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next one bye